Hey y'all, my name is Matt Hook at Life Changing Travels, and this is Leroy, named after my grandfather who turns 100 on October 17th. It's a 2016 Ford Transit 250 medium roof. I got 350 watt uh, solar panels on top, so completely off grid. Refrigerator, stovetop with propane, sink, kitchenette, uh, queen size bed, everything I need, nothing I don't. On the outside, got BF Goodridge all terrain TA KO2 tires, two inch lift kit, um, and Falcon shocks on the back so this thing can get off road and get dirty. Uh, I've also got a swing gate weather guard box here to store all my climbing, hiking, camping gear so I can just pull up to the trailhead and hit it. So right here I got this Wilco swing gate. Allows me to still access the back doors while keeping all my gear here. So you can see this thing's loaded with lots of boots, helmet, got a whole thing of gear in here. Just everything I need for the trail. Um, on the back here, got a ladder, allows me to access the top, solar panels, clean it off in the winter with snow, and then I'll be throwing some uh, ski racks on there to carry my quiver of skis this winter. So then, allows me to access the back of this. Um, so back here, just got more. Here's all your storage. More gear, you know, climbing stuff, jackets, rope, you name it, like everything I need to do rad stuff. Um, store extra water there, that drywall bucket's my emergency toilet. Nice. If, uh, you know, for some reason I'm incapable of digging a hole, um, it's there. And then I've got storage all behind there. And then there's the propane tank and all the electrical, which we'll show you inside later. So that is, for anybody that's wondering, your van toilet, the bucket. Yeah. Cool. It's got a lid. Oh, it's got a lid. Perfect. Yeah. It actually fits perfectly <laughs> nice. on the top of the bucket. Sweet. So, you know, in a pinch. I'm Gucci. Nice. Why don't we go check out the inside? Wonder that this would come like this? Nope, we got that done by uh, a custom woodworker in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And uh, yeah, he hooked it up. Used the same uh, design tattoo that my good friend, uh, Brittany Bateman, designed for me. She's also the person that did this amazing wall mural. So right now I've got the van in bed mode. As you can see, pretty comfortable, sleeps two people with no problem. Um, and the cool thing about it is I can convert this bed into a living space, which we'll show you next. So the process is pretty simple. I just fold everything over. Pull out the middle cushions. table. Table designed by Chris and Lauren Rousey. Good friends. Did an amazing job. Just slide in like so. And this thing moves like 360 degrees so it's really convenient. I can put it out of the way. I can pull it in. Have dinner. Hang out. Makes it very homey. Especially in the winter when you're spending five, six hours here after you get off the slopes. Chilling. Luckily I've got a uh, Wabasto heater taps right into my gas tank, pumps heat so it can be zero degrees outside and toasty 75 in here. Um, and it only runs like 24 hours, one, ga one gallon of gas, so super efficient. Um, so yeah, when I bought this van, they actually came with these porthole windows already installed. Um, I bought it up in upstate New York. I think there was like some requirement for commercial use. Um, so then my brothers and I, we found some HVAC uh, tubing cut it up to fit and then I hand cut and sanded these things. It took me like eight hours, the most tedious thing I've ever done, but the finished product is beautiful. Um, over here, we've got some wall art done by uh, another great friend of mine, Melissa Kohi, and friends since kindergarten. Um, she put that together and really makes this place feel like home. All of these uh, Nepalese pr prayer flags um, were uh, blessed in uh, traditional Nepalese uh, ceremony and mailed to me by my good friend and former mountain guide 
uh, sharing and uh, really just kind of brought it all together. So it's a pretty cool place, really warm. Uh, definitely makes it really easy to hang out here on uh, rainy days or when I'm just trying to chill. Yep, so we've got uh, LED lighting um, with dimmers, which is nice if you're trying to set the ambiance, you know, for late night evening um, where you can pump it up. Um, lights on off, super efficient. So here's the uh, all the electric. We got the two uh, 100 uh, amp hour Battleborn lithium batteries. Uh, we've got an inverter, 1200 watt inverter allows me to plug into typical 120 volt uh, devices. Um, but we've got lots of USB ports and 12 volt as well. Um, we've got a Sterling battery battery charger. So when I'm driving, it uh, also provides charge. Um, and then here's all of your circuit box and your solar controller down there. Um, all the electric I can ever use, I've never had to plug in. I pretty much can run off grid on solar 24-7. Uh, all right, so here's the kitchen. Got a sink, uh, drains into a five gallon jerry tank. And then all of the water also is connected to jerry tank. So can literally pull it out, go up to a sink, fill it up, makes it super easy to get water wherever I am. Got two propane burners, runs off the propane over there. And then my refrigerator is right down here. Um, pulls up, not huge, but I'm not a big cooker. So, you know, fill with beverages, lots of condiments, whatever I'm, whatever I got on the menu for the week. So I consciously chose to go with a hand pump to conserve water. It forces me to be very judicious with my water, especially given that I've got a five gallon jerry tank, not like a 20 gallon tank. Um, if I did it over, I had the room, maybe do a foot pump just so you can wash with two hands. But at the end of the day, the water conservation to me outweighs the cons of, you know, a little inconvenience of when I gotta wash it. As you saw, this flips up, gives me a lot of counter space for cooking um, or just laying stuff out. And then I've got, you know, your standard junk drawer with everything you can imagine. Um, and then the bottom two drawers are all um, clothes and things like that. Um, up here, another lot of space for food, just jammed in there. Um, coffee, just odds and ends. Um, just kind of functional, quick, easy access space up here. So as you can see, um, I decided to put a insulated partition between the um, cab and the rear of the vehicle. Reason I did that was uh, twofold. One for privacy; it's just easy. It's always up. I don't have to worry about uh, covering up the windows when I get somewhere. Um, but the other thing is, uh, since I live in this year-round, especially during the winter in pretty cold places, um, you know, glass is the biggest emitter of cold. Um, and rather than having to insulate all the windows by doing this, I can just insulate uh, the back area and not have to do as much put insulation every time I park somewhere. So. It's basically two sleeping bags that were uh, zipped together and then I had a seamstress um, kind of customized to fit at the bottom. The Webasso heater's down there. It pumps heat out. It's like a big, powerful hair dryer essentially. Um, and it's awesome. In the winter especially, since it blows down there, it keeps the floor warm so I can walk around barefoot. Um, dries out all my gear, um, my ski boots, my equipment, everything every day so I can go out on the on the slopes, nice and toasty, warm and dry every day, which is pretty crucial when you're doing this thing full time. So as far as best like purchases under 50 bucks, or in this case under $10, this little plastic tray um, that you can find at like any Walmart or Target, it's crucial to put it in the front of the van, take your shoes off. You know, it's a small space, it gets dirty real fast. So uh, keeping your shoes out of here is, is critical. And then just having like a little hand brush, you know, brushing stuff off, brushing snow off, um, anything that gets around there, there's just always dust, so it's constantly managing that. Really nothing significantly different that I would do with this particular van. However, having lived in here for almost a year, I would say that, you know, if I were to do it again, I would go with a slightly larger van, a, a higher roof, a little bit longer. And what that would allow me to do is have a fixed platform bed, you know, that was set up in the back with a garage underneath while still having like a living space right here. Um, so. That being said, I love Leroy. He's, uh, it's an amazing place. I, uh, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm almost in here a year and 
I have no plans on slowing down anytime soon. I'm just really comfortable and it allows me to do all the things I want to do and have the freedom I want to have, which is what it's all about, van life. It's the best life.